You're listening to Hawk Talk. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Hawk Talk, the official podcast series of the St. Anselm College men's soccer team. I'm your host, Zach Elliott, joined as always alongside assistant coach Tim Field down below. And today is episode four of our series where, where we'll be taking kind of an in-depth look at two of our seniors, putting them in the spotlight. Uh, joining us today is Jay up top on the left and down the bottom, Spencer. So if you are watching this video, don't be afraid to drop a like below and subscribe to my channel for all things St. Anselm men's soccer and turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss any new podcast that we put out. And also follow us on our podcast site, Podbean or Apple iTunes. Now. I'll kick it over to Tim to talk about this coming fall's senior class. Howdy, everyone. Glad you're joining us again. This, uh, this class is special to Bruno and I. This is the first class that we recruited to come play on the Hilltop. Uh, we literally started on March 3rd, which was about 18 months later than every other coach who's recruiting out there. And I got to say, I think we did pretty well with that. I think we brought in, what, like six guys, and then Zach joined us as a transfer. So that's a and, pretty And good JP. Guys. Don't forget JP. Oh, and JP. Yeah. Let's not forget JP. <laughs> so, yeah, as I mentioned, uh, today we're going to be specifically looking at just two of our seniors who have helped transform this program drastically. So joining us, as I said, are Jaden West and Spencer Person. Welcome to the show, guys. Good to have you on. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Anytime. Uh, so yeah, just a quick b- background on these two. Uh, Jay is a psychology major from Londonderry, New Hampshire, coming from Arizona, and Spencer, an accounting major from Danvers, Massachusetts. Both of these guys have been starters for pretty much all three years of their career so far, and um, Jaden playing about almost anywhere the team needs him to, outside back, outside mid, center mid, kind of wherever, and Spencer, of course, being one of our defensive anchors. Um, I'll start off with Spencer. Uh, first, can you tell our viewers and listeners kind of what made you choose St. Anselm and, and attend this school? Yeah. Um, I think the fact that it was a small school was really nice. I didn't want anything too big. Um, and when I took my school tour, I got a real um, vibe of like community and everyone caring. Everyone was so nice. And then when I came up on my official visit to visit the team, I got that same thing. The guys were super nice. They showed me the campus. The campus was beautiful. So right away, I fell in love and knew it was my home for the next four years. Awesome. How about you, Jay? Uh, for me, definitely just like touring the campus for the first time. The campus is absolutely beautiful. And that's something that like took, it took me back. And um, uh, definitely the soccer aspect too. And then just like looking into the school academically is just like, it's a very good school for academics and just like going forward um, after college to do for like jobs. It's definitely a good school to look at. So I've had the pleasure of being able to watch you guys grow in the last three years, uh, both on and off the field. But can you talk really individually how you think it's changed you and what the school's been able to do for you? And Jaden, we'll start with you. Uh, for me individually, I would say it's turned me more into like a academic weapon almost. In high school, I wasn't much of a like big studier or just like into like group projects or like research in general. My habits of like studying have become a lot more effective and just like research in general, considering that I'm a psych major, research is like huge in that field. And that's just definitely being at the school has helped helped me improve that. What about you, Spencer? I think it's definitely required me to be a more responsible person. I mean, having to get up for class, having to schedule my meals, schedule my days, um, having to make myself go to class, do the schoolwork, make sure everything is done. And on the soccer side, make sure I'm waking up for those early morning lifts, making sure I'm making it to practice on time. I don't have my parents there to bug me all the time saying, hey, do this, do that, do this. So I've really had to step up my game, be more responsible, and take after my actions. So, guys, the first two seasons that you were with us, um, they weren't weren't horrible. Yeah, yeah, they were. Uh, (laughs) But they they definitely weren't what we expected. I think we had five wins and got at least five or six ties, which I hate ties. But 
kind of talk about how you were able to stay with us. You know, it, it, Bruno and I really tried hard to keep everyone together, but how did you keep your beliefs up knowing that we could turn this ship around? Um, I think one word that sets into mind is frustration. Frustration, obviously, no one likes losing. Everybody wants to win and be on top of their game 24-7. Fortunately, we weren't able to do that. I think my freshman year, it was – kind of a, a wash year nobody expected anything and then soft my sophomore year is when we really had time when we had to start to rebuild and i think even sophomore year only getting the one win we could see that the pieces were starting to come together you and bruno were bringing in the correct players the guys that you were bringing in for recruiting classes for our their overnight visits everyone loved them and you really got that feeling that this program is turning around and we're headed in the right direction Jaden, what do you think I uh, I definitely agree with Spence on that one. Just um, kind of just add to that. I'd say just like the guys who you and Bruno have brought in also gave me some hope. Like guys like Spencer and like Michael Coffey. Just seeing those guys and those are the type of guys you guys are bringing in moving forward. Just helped me like provided some hope for for the future. So guys, moving on to this past fall, um, can you guys kind of talk about? what this season meant for both of you finally being able to um, string some wins together. We had undefeated stretch beginning of the year and we finished the season with seven total wins, which was the most in like 10 years, I think. So can you talk about how, how big this year was for us taking a step in the right direction moving forward? Yeah. So for me, I definitely just say like this season in general is just very promising for, for next year and for the future years for the guys who will still be here. Um, and, and what I mean by promising and, and it just like it has fulfilled that hope is like you go from this frustration that Spence and I experienced our freshman and sophomore years. And it's just like you go from not having many wins to now we're starting to get those wins and we're starting to score more goals too. And mm -hmm. that's just, it's exciting. It, it really is exciting to see. And what do you think, Spencer? Um, it was a very uplifting season, I think. Um, starting off strong with the four wins, you could really see all the pieces and all the players coming together and, and working in the harmony that Tim and Bruno really wanted. We were able to turn some of those losses into wins, some of the ties into wins. Um, obviously, not every game went our way, but I think we were in every game. We never really were out of any game. We were never blown away. So this season, like Jay was saying, it was very promising. We were, it was a step in the right direction and, and gave me hope back that we, we can do this. We are, we will be a good team. We, we're all right. So one of the things that I think has led to that is really the leadership of you two specifically. So uh, those listening, Spencer has been captain since his junior year and will be captain going into his senior year. And Jaden is the quintessential silent strong leader he's the guy on the field that no one wants to disappoint him and uh with a look he can generally get guys whipped back into shape so i'll start with you spencer but can you kind of talk about how you've had to adapt to the role of being a leader on this team um yeah so i think being a leader it was always within everybody in the team um i think the only difference was putting on that armband from day one as a freshman everyone is told that you have a voice you have an opinion if you see something that needs fixing bring it up change it with the team we'll work together as a collective group um because everyone's opinion matters some people might see something different some someone might see it a different way so you never know what um what someone else is thinking and how they can fix it Jaden, what do you think yeah, I agree with Spence on that one. I think everyone has the uh, ability to be a leader, whether they have the armband or or not. Um, I and the biggest thing it doesn't matter if you're an upperclassman or underclassman too. If you're out there ready to perform and you have the ability to lead other people by example, or just whether you're captain or if you have the voice for it too, then why not? Why not show that ability? And I think that's that's a good thing to have for sure um definitely some great answers from you guys but now it's it's crunch time i'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit here um this is kind of what everybody's waiting to hear and especially your teammates watching and listening 
Uh, I want to talk about this coming season in the fall of 2020. Um, I'll start with you, Jay. You, you both are putting on the St. A's jersey for the last time this year. You know, can you guys just kind of talk about what that's going to mean and the emotions you're going to be playing with, especially knowing you guys have put tons of years into this game and your, your families have put so much into it. So why don't you guys kind of talk about that emotion level you guys are going to be playing with this year? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of emotions that go into it. One thing is, uh, one emotion I would say is it's really bittersweet, especially after all this time and commitment we put into it and really just, it's been such a huge part of our lives. Um, and also it, it's, it's exciting too, because it's like, it's just the buildup of all these years you put into and you really hope it goes out with a bang. And Spencer, what do you think? Yeah, I think as Jay was saying, it's, it's really bittersweet. Um, guys have been putting in 15, 16, 17 years into the, into the game they love. So now that you see it in your near future coming to an end, it obviously, it obviously stinks, but I think one couple goals for us are since day one, it's always been playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. And I think this year we have a legitimate chance of making a run and getting some wins no one expects and, and getting into a playoff spot as well as I think one thing that could really uplift the team, give the team some motivation is a top four win. I can't remember the last time we've been able to beat a team just Lemoyne or Snoo. So I think this year we have a lot to prove, but I'm really excited for it. Yeah, you, you guys both talked about goals and, and expectations that you're going to be striving for, especially kind of coming from the bottom your freshman year and sophomore year. And then this year, kind of taking that step to the middle level. What is it going to be like this year if we, we put the pieces together, we keep working like we have been? What's that going to be like to take another huge step and, and kind of be at the top in terms of your career success here? Um. I think it's going to be a relief. Um, we've known we've had the correct players. We've had people with the correct work ethic, the correct attitudes. So we know we deserve one of those top spots, but we've never been able to put it into, into our games, into our records. But I think this year, like I was saying, there's, there's a good chance that we can do that. We can make a run. I'd say it's, it's um, to, like good load off the shoulders. Um, it's a step in the right direction, but for the guys who are still going to be here in the program in general, I think it's something to, yeah, it's good to look forward to if we do complete our goals, but mm -hmm. there's still more goals going forward and we can't let our foot off the gas and we have to keep pushing ourselves and keep going. It'll definitely be exciting to see. That's for sure. If we can crack the playoffs, it'll be the first time in 11 years, I think. So that'll be exciting. So yeah, and I hope we just can get on the field sooner than later. Yeah. All of this clears up. You know, obviously, any of you who are watching can see that we're using Zoom again to do this. So we'd like to thank them for the chance to use their technology. So, uh, Spencer and Jaden, now's the fun part, the part that we didn't prepare you for. The lightning round of questions. Lightning. So uh, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. We need quick answers. You guys good with that? Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So, Jaden, why don't you answer this one first? Oh, Ready? Boy. And then, Spencer, you answer right after him. Favorite class? Jeez. Uh, biology. Spencer? Uh, forensic accounting. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> All right. Here, here's one that. I think everyone will enjoy. Favorite food from Davison? Ooh. Go ahead, Jay. <laughs> Jeez, that's a tough one. I, I'm going to have to go with a breakfast meal. I'd say either chocolate chip pancakes or a bacon and cheese omelet. Spencer? Oh, I know this is a, a top one around the team. Hungarian gulag. <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought someone would, would say the uh, fettuccine oh. Alfredo, but I know I, the Oh, is, that's true. Alfredo. Uh, popular with the Boudrebits. <laughs> so, Spencer, starting with you, why don't you give us some of your pregame rituals? Pregame rituals. It is listen to music and put my left cleat on before my right. 
How about you, Jaden? Uh, for me, it's definitely tape my ankles and uh, listen to music. See, you guys are smarter than me. Mine was always to pound my head on each goalpost <laughs> twice. <laughs> All right, so Jaden, here you go. What's been your favorite moment as a member of this team so far? Oh, geez. Um, favorite moment was probably when our team beat Franklin Pierce and they were ranked in the nation. Spencer? Um, I would say this past year we were down 2 nothing to Assumption and we yep. were able to come back and win 3-2 and send the seniors off in a good style. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. That was a fun one to watch. Okay, I'm throwing in one bonus question for everyone. What are the emotions going to be like on senior day? Spencer, you Ooh. first. I'm hoping no, but some tears, maybe. <laughs> Jaden? Nick Hacked. Uh, I've been trying not to think about this, but uh, I honestly, probably some tears too. I, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I don't think anyone would blame you, and I'm not going to lie. There may be tears with Bruno and I as well. Mm -hmm. cool. So, hey, guys, thanks for being on. Thanks for letting us ask you all these questions, kind of putting you on the spot and things like that. I know everyone's going to love listening to this. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's yeah. Been Thank you to everybody for tuning in that's uh, watching or listening. If you like what you saw in today's episode, don't be afraid to drop a like and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment below. And if you have any questions, ideas, concerns, or if you're interested in being on a future episode, email Tim Field, T-I-M-F-I-E-L-D at anselm.edu. And if you can't watch the next episode and can only listen to it while working from home during this quarantine, check out our podcast page on Podbean or Apple iTunes to listen. And lastly, don't be afraid to follow us on Instagram, St. Anselm Men's Soccer, all spelled out. We'll be back soon with more episodes. Until then, take care, everybody.